Leo, how are you? Welcome. This is your weekend tarot reading. We're going to go into the energy. We're going to see what lovely message we get for Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus for the weekend. It might seem a bit dark here. It's because um, we've got a storm coming. <laughs> so all the power's just cut out. Um, so yeah, you could find yourself in unexpected situations over the weekend, Leo. So let's see what we get for you from the tarot. Let's see what lovely message we get for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. For the weekends, let's see what we get. Okay. Ooh, Ace of Thoughts. Um, now, you've got Queen of Cups as well. So this is Heart Chakra Energy. So this is you feeling loving vibrations towards somebody. Um, and Ace of Thoughts. This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea which is truly inspired it is important to commu oh the light is just going back on yay <laughs> oh that's such good news i tell you because um i'm on my own and i just i do need power really um otherwise i can't do anything i can't work or anything right anyway <laughs> so there you go unexpected things could happen this weekend unexpectedly good things um so my printer's going you might hear that now um now don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way or maybe big challenges but there's going to be challenges but you're going to be able to move through them i think right i'll be honest with you i think you're going to come up against challenges that initially might seem very difficult or big and then as you move through them, you're going to realise, oh my God, that wasn't so bad after all, you know. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Um, it just says here, they're just merely a course of corrections to your perfect plan. So things won't be as bad as they seem. All right, Leo. Um, you've also got here the Queen of Cups, which is lovely. Uh, this is the time to follow your heart, feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. And that's the other thing I do get shown with Leo is stepping in to support somebody and help somebody and that actually um, you do need to look after yourself. Um, you know, uh, you do have a good sense of intuition with this person though. Okay, you have a good sense of intuition with this person, so you're you are the right person to support them, but you also need to be following your own divine life plan at the moment, Leo. Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper. Oh, <laughs> let's see what else we get. I'm trying to be really careful of my microphone because I've got a habit of um <laughs> just flinging my arms around and it ends up on the floor. <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go. Right, so right now i feel like there's been an ending here for, for leo relationship wise the ace of cups just came out and reversed um at the beginning that was the first card just to come out so it's showing that you've sort of ended a relationship or you've had to step away from something that wasn't just wasn't really emotionally fulfilling um you've made the right decision you're much more clear now about what you need to do going forwards by the end of the weekend, or even throughout the weekend, your energy is becoming more lively and exuberant. Um, you could definitely be attracting a new uh, partner, a new business partner, um, a spiritual mentor, somebody like that, or um, you know, a um, um, how can I put this? Um, it could be somebody who you could end up having quite a passionate affair with, okay? Um, now, you have to be a bit cautious though, because whoever this person is, they may be a little bit selfish, okay? And I do want to say that. Um, so just, I would say be wise and don't rush into anything, okay? Um, now, let's have a look here. On the other hand, it could be a mirror message that you've had such enough of people not giving you the love you desire that you're becoming more selfish <laughs> and that you're you're the one. But what you've got to remember is to be wise because if you start moving into that energy, you'll be attracting the same thing in, you see, because everything in the external reality is a mirror, isn't it? 
So be wise of that. If you notice you're going a little bit that way, it might be time to center yourself and meditate because you could definitely end up attracting somebody here that's a little bit selfish. <laughs> okay. Now, um, the person you, uh, yeah. You see, you're attracting somebody here that doesn't want to wait. This person's going to be a fast mover. They're going to be a fast mover, Leo. So, you know, you've been let down. You've been disappointed. You're much more clear on what it is you want and what it is you don't want. You definitely feel like you need to take care of your own needs and put yourself first. But you could be attracting somebody in who is a very fast mover and I need you to check out that they're not completely selfish, you know, because they could be hiding something from you, okay? Um, it's important to take a step back right now and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, it is now time to give to yourself. That would be the wisest course of action. And I know that sounds a bit boring for the weekend. <laughs> But, you know, if you can kind of centre your own energy, you're going to um, reap the rewards later down the line, you know. Um, let's have a look at another relationship card. I mean, you may feel like you deserve a bit of passion, you know, and you may just find yourself thinking, well, this is what I deserve. Go for it. But just, just have your wits about you is what I would say, okay? Okay, right. Now, the person that's coming in here, or that, no, actually, I don't think this is the person that's coming in. I think this is the person that you've just ended it with because the card fell on top of here. And my cards do that sometimes, so I know they're connected. I feel insecure. So that person that you've had to let go of, they're very insecure. Now, they don't allow that to show, I don't think. But um, that's why they act the way they do. Uh, they're trying to portray a much more confident personality, and that's their ego, than really who they are. They're not showing their true sensitive nature. Okay. Let's see what else we get here. This is a message from my consciousness deck. Let's see what we get. Oh, I'm going a bit over time here for you, Leo. <laughs> Turn your attention inward, yes. See, that's the thing. I think if you, if you look outside of yourself too much, you're going to keep getting distracted by naughty people <laughs> at the moment. Um, so I would turn your attention inward and try to ride it out, ride out any temptations, try not to act on any temptations, keep connecting into self, keep connecting into spirit, don't be distracted by anything. If you hold out and you're a bit more patient, it's going to be worth your while because you'll end up attracting somebody or something that's going to be more in your true um, energy, you know, more long term. So that's the message, Leo. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a one-to-one -one tarot, I'm here. You can book in. And thanks for sharing the channel. Thanks for everything you do. Really helps me keep the channel going. Thank you and peace across Gaia, wherever you are for your weekend, Leo.